And I swear by the mustache that I wear tonight That if you subscribe, like, and comment, I'll be there Putting videos and stop singing these horrible songs Hey, what's up my mustaches? Welcome back to another WoW video And I'm going to show you how to make actually a 9k gold in a lunar festival And actually get all the stuff you need to do Now that said guys, this is an event that's coming up in uh, Monday basically I think it's Monday, but I know it's for from the 1st to the 15th Now that said guys, it's a cool event This is the event that I actually um, went to WoW And when I when I actually started uh, you know, the trial of WoW just to see what WoW is I actually saw this and I'm like, wow, this is cool Is this every day? No it's only 15 days. Now that said, guys, you're probably wondering, how do you make 9,000 gold? How do you make a, a couple thousand gold off of this event? Now, that said, guys, we're going to go right into it. So the first thing you want to do is take the quest called Ellen's Blessings. Now, once you get a... a no, not, why am I calling it Ellen's? <laughs> a loon's bless, blessing. Now, that said, guys, you're going to take this. You're going to defeat a thing called Omen. Now, these wolves are great in strength and fortune. They're, like, huge. You know, so if you're going to fight them, the two-headed dogs and all stuff, they might be level 100 this time and all stuff because, you know, our... Basically, you know, we're... You know max now now I don't know if they're gonna be level 100 I don't know what they're for sure gonna be but I know that there's a lot of them and maybe hopefully I'm hoping that they actually have something like corner mini faces that are drops from them that we don't see on the wild head and so forth now that said guys when you complete this quest you're gonna get Ellen's lantern lunar festival fireworks pack and a solid stone and 15 gold now these this lantern this toy is actually buying uh, buying what picked up so you're not gonna be able to sell this now let's get to the next thing that you could be selling now first off you're gonna want to go with the, these things called coins of ancestries now the only way you can get these coins is basically doing the lunar festival during the lunar festival actually you'll be have the opportunity to honor your elders and doing so you'll also honor their culture and people um, if you show respect to the elders in each major city which i'll put it in a description a link to the the tom tom waypoints what's called you'll be able to get these coins of ancestry and a lucky red envelope which actually basically just gives you a elder's moonstone when you open the red envelope now that's it guys i don't know if this is daily i don't remember if it's daily or 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 basically just one time let me know in the comments below now that said guys you get these and what you're going to want to use is both well, two things and not like actually three things at the most now what you want to do is actually get a lunar lantern these lunar lanterns actually go for a lot they go for a lot lot now that said guys a lunar lantern the beautiful lantern can produce um from um base of star song on moon glade for 50 coins okay they will they will illuminate your path in the dark places of the world now if that's the case, if they actually do do a little light, which I don't know, I don't haven't seen the pet, but I know how much it goes for. Bless God, it actually would be pretty cool, like in Legion, because there's Legion has a dark spot which you can't see and all stuff. Imagine that ad being a life source. Now that would be cool, guys. Now, all right, let's get back to it. So basically, this Lunar Lantern right now goes for about 9k on an average server. About now, if you actually um go do this and get this, you could resell this at the beginning for about eight. 7k but if you wait after you can probably sell it for at least 9k like i said but that's it guys it's only 50 coins do this on every ult you have might take a little bit to get to every place in azeroth just to get this but there's gonna be new uh, new places probably in world of draino i don't know for sure but i'll let y'all know and i'll update y'all for that now that said guys that's one of the biggest things you could do now there is another thing consumable is called festival dumplings these festival dumplings are awesome guys because the reason why is because they restore four percent of your health and three percent of your mana per second for for 25 seconds and you, but you must remain seated now they call it cost one ancestral coin but these things could go so think you could probably sell them for at least five to ten gold probably because they're good for raiding they don't get you rid of your food buff you already have they get you all the way up to you don't have to make your healer you know use his stuff use his mana and say oh you know what? i gotta wait for mana to go up you know so forth in any raid situation now that said guys that's not the biggest thing like i said the toy is the biggest thing now there's one more thing you could get Engineers can require schematics to festival rockets, which can sell for a little bit, while tailors can obtain patterns for the dress and suit. That's what you want. Once you get the festival um, dress and suit pattern, you want to make these and probably sell them for uh, for a good price. Now these these prices are the vary. Now as you can uh, as you can see, you could get these for five ancestral coins. You could get them for five. Now that's pretty cool, guys. And and Wildhead's actually saying right now that these would probably go for um, if you actually sold these. Let me check them out, guys, real quick. Teaches you how to do festival dress. And these festival dress goes, doesn't even say how much these festival dress goes for. But I honestly think they'll at least go for 500 gold. I actually might be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments below what you think and how much um, you would pay for it. But that said, guys, if you make these for role-playing servers, that would be awesome. Because you know what? A lot of people want to play 
role, when they're on role play servers, obviously the role playing is role playing, and, and on regular servers they're not not like that. But still, you have a chance of people buying these real fast because they're like, man, I need that because I'm going to do this with my 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 guild role playing guild or so forth. Now that's it, guys. That's about it for the uh, the festival as far as I know. If I find anything else, I'm gonna let y'all know, guys, in the coming week, and I'm gonna be farming all this, doing some videos for y'all, showing you the best locations for the making gold. But as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, stay stashy. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my video, so click it maybe.